Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the digital product block in your Squarespace website. We've got some standard settings built into Squarespace where you can decide what to display. But in this tutorial, we're going to be customizing that display using CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But as I'm sure you can see here, we've got a lot to change. So I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use these codes in your Squarespace website. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and before we add any custom code, I want to be super clear about what block of content we're using. I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you here. This is a digital product block. To add one of these to your website, select add block, scroll down to the business section, and here you'll see digital product. This isn't a standard product, this is a digital product, like a blog with a paywall. Now that you've added that block, when you double click on it, under the design option, you'll see the alignment options for left, center, or right. And you'll also see the option to toggle on or off the title, the description, the price, the benefits, and the sign up button. This is also where you change the text for the sign up button right here in the design tab. Now I have this blog payment plan set to free. But here on my site, if we scroll down, I've got another one that has a frequency of being charged $2.99 for two months. And then if you scroll down, I've got another one that has options, monthly and yearly. We're going to be customizing all of this with code, so I wanted to make sure that we isolated those unique styles just in case you've got one with options, one that's just frequency, or one that just has a price and no other values. All right, I'll select save and exit, and we'll get to our custom CSS. To reach that panel in Squarespace, we'll navigate to website, select website tools, and custom CSS from the very top. I'm going to scroll down here so we can see the actual content itself, and I'll increase the size of my code here so you can see what I'm typing. There we go. All right, we're going to start with the selector pricing plan block. This class identifies the actual block itself, and I'll show you exactly how. We're going to say background. Uh, let's go with mint cream, a nice web save color. And now you can see that block itself has its own background. But I want you to notice the edge of the text and the edge of the block, they're right next to each other. So I'm going to add a little bit of padding to change that. We're going to say padding 15 px. There we go. And let's make it stand out even more. Let's give it a border. I'll say border 3 px solid. How about my favorite shade of teal? There we go. Now the block stands out a lot more against the content on our site. If you scroll down here, I want you to notice all of them have that exact same style now. Scrolling back up to the top, we've got some more options here. Let's start with the title. We don't have a lot of options in the design menu to customize this. So if we want to change it, like maybe make it bold, we can say font weight bold. And if your font is capable of having a bold option, there you go. We can also do things like maybe make it capital letters by saying text transform uppercase. Spelled correctly. There we go. And let's add a little bit of letter spacing, maybe letter spacing 5px. Oh, let's go ahead and change the color too while we're here. We'll go ahead and say color. How about the same color I used for the border? There we go. Now the title is very unique compared to the other fonts. Let's go ahead and adjust the font for the actual price. Now, again, it could say free like this option here, or you could have a price that's actually displayed. Both of those will respond to the same code, pricing-plan-price-amount. Now I'll open up a bracket here and let's change the font size for that one. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Maybe 15 PX is all we really want. We'll say exclamation point important and that price will reduce down way too small. Let's go in the opposite direction. How about 50 PX? All right, let's make this bold as well. Let's say font weight bold. And now it really stands out compared to the rest of the content on our site. You know, as we're working on this live, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bold from the title. I want the price to really pop here. There we go. Now we've got some different styles in our design. Let's move on to frequency because that's the next here in this pricing block. Using this code name here, we'll open up a curly bracket and let's do one of my favorite tricks. How about we start with text transform uppercase and let's go ahead and do a little letter spacing here as well of 5px. There we go. Now that stands out a lot more. One cool trick I wanted to share in this tutorial is to add a line between this text and the description text, just like we have here around the benefits. So if we add a semicolon and we say padding bottom 10px, and then we say 
border bottom. Here we can say maybe 1px solid and just a light gray like the other line. And now we've got that line separation between the frequency and the description. Scrolling up here, you'll notice there is no line because there's no frequency there. It's only happening on this block where we have that frequency and down here as well. Next up, we've got the description. And a quick reminder, all of these codes are listed in the description below. So don't worry about taking screenshots or anything. I've got it underneath this video for you. Let's open up a curly bracket. And how about we just give this one a background? We'll give it a solid white background. And let's add some padding. And let's add a border to this one as well. How about just a 1px solid going back to that shade of teal I like. There we go. Now I got pretty... Now let's get extra creative here. I'm going to add a little bit of padding just like we did for the block. So it pulls it away from the border. And I'll scoot the screen up a little bit. There we go. And here's where it can get really interesting. What if we say width? Uh, how about 110%? And then we'll say margin left negative 10 percent check it out we now have that description lifting off of the box lots of cool options now that we've added that i'll go ahead and get rid of the bottom border that we had in the other option so it really pops definitely some fun design options here this might not be a style that matches your website but i wanted to show you some possibilities all right, let's talk about that sign up button. This one is an easy one to remember. Join dash button. We'll open up a curly bracket and let's give it a border radius. Let's curve it in a bit. I'll say border radius 30 PX. And I spelled radius incorrectly. I do that often. There we go. And now exclamation point important. And we now have a curved button option. One more thing I want to do for this button is give it a hover effect. Right now I'm getting the site wide opacity hover effect for that button, but I want to change up the color. So I'm going to add a new line and I'll say join button hover. And now I'll say background. How about we go to that shade of teal again? We'll make sure it's important. And this part's very important. I'm going to reset the opacity to one and also mark that important. And now we're going to get that shade of teal when we hover over it. Let me show you really quickly. If I remove that opacity line, notice that it's a lighter blue. If I leave it there, it'll be that Full color. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, we've got a few more options. The line and benefits. Let's keep going. If you don't want to display that divider line, you can totally add opacity zero to the pricing plan benefits divider. Not everybody likes that style. That's how you can do it. Otherwise, we can change the color of it by adjusting the border color. Maybe again, we're going to go back to that shade of teal, 50BDB8. Okay, moving on to benefits. Again, all these codes are in the description below. I know we're going through a lot, but there's a lot to cover here. First things first, let's talk about that first letter, that automatic check mark. If you want to remove it, you can say font size zero, and that'll get rid of it for you. But if all you want to do is change the color of it, this code will make that magic happen. And we can also change the font size of it. Maybe we want it to be bigger. 50px, way too big. How about we make it smaller? Pull it down to teen px. There we go. Again, lots of options. That's a character, so any font and text properties will work for that check mark. Just make sure you isolate the first letter. That's how Squarespace automatically adds that check mark to your benefits. Now, scrolling down here, there's one more option we need to talk about, and those are the options placed at the top here for monthly and yearly. I want to pull that away from the border that we created. So I'm going to say padding top. How about 15 PX? There we go. And I also want to make sure that it has the same 90 degree corners that everything else in this block does, except for the main button. So we'll go ahead and add an asterisk and we'll say border radius 0 PX exclamation point important. There we go. Super customized options here. We went through so much code today. So again, all of this is listed in the description below. This right here will isolate the entire block. So you can add background, padding, and a border. This right here will isolate the title. So you can transform the text, change the style of that font any way you want. This right here will change the pricing plan amount. And this will change the billing period. Now, if you have one solid price, you're not going to have that option. You'll just see this here at the very top. But if you do charge for a specific frequency, that's going to be that option right there. Then we have the description, the join button, a fun hover effect that we created. Scrolling down here, we change the color of the divider and we change the color of the check mark and the size as well. And at the very bottom here, 
This part is only specific for those that have options, monthly and yearly plans or whatever frequency works for your specific digital product. Those options will only be there if you have two pricing plans enabled. Now, whatever you've decided to customize about this part of your Squarespace website, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Wait, just kidding. Not done with this tutorial yet. There's one more thing I forgot to show you, and that's how to change an individual block. Let's say you have a unique block for a sales page or you have multiple digital products next to each other. Here's how you can isolate one at a time. Go ahead. <clears throat> I'll have a link to this Chrome extension in the description below. Click on that Chrome extension and grab the block ID for your unique digital product. I'm going to add that block ID right here on my code. And then I'll say pricing plan block the selector class that I want to modify for that specific block and say background. How about a light gray color? There we go. Now notice this individual block has the light gray color. This block doesn't. All the other ones are fine. So if you want to isolate an individual block, start with the block ID and then add the code that you want to customize for that individual block of content. This can help you target one block on a specific sales page, or if you have two digital products side by side, you can customize them separately. All right, now we're done. We'll select save and call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to modify that digital product block in Squarespace. Just make sure you update those values to make it uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like access to my personal collection of selectors and code snippets for modifying Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. There you'll find codes like the one from this tutorial and a bunch of other ones that I don't share on YouTube. That's available at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.